la gran mayoría de la gente bailadora y bonita. This was January. People packed in together to hear Patrulla 81 and lead singer Jose Angel Medina Soto. Crowds like these will eventually come back, but COVID-19 has forever robbed these fans in Durango State, Mexico, of a favorite son. Durango native Jose Angel died in a hospital last week after fighting the virus for nearly a month. At his daughter's home, she spoke to us as some of his ashes hung around her neck. It's not fair, says his daughter, Alma Medina. He had so many plans for his life. Before his death, his family says four different hospitals near his home in the bordering state of Chihuahua refused to accept him because they were too full. Officials say Mexico is grappling with a distinct second wave of cases in many parts of the country. Recent single-day case counts have been some of the highest ever. Deaths are again on the rise. Mexico City's mayor says if current trends continue, she will be forced to once again close parts of the city. Look at this scene from just outside Mexico City, an illegal concert where hundreds are grouped close together. The alert level in both the border state of Chihuahua and here in Durango has risen to semáforo rojo, or red level, the country's highest as cases have soared. The state secretary of health says parties continued, reunions, family, social gatherings, where people easily congregated and infections are the direct consequence. In Durango, non-essential businesses have been forced to close once again, and alcohol sales are banned. Cases have slowed slightly, though the state's health secretary worries what happens when restrictions ease. Sí. He says, yes, we are afraid of another wave because we don't know how big it could be. But the economic pain brought on by these restrictions has been brutal. Hundreds of thousands of people nationwide have lost their jobs, and Durango is no exception. All of these people are waiting in line at a pawn shop. And while, of course, people visit pawn shops during normal times, multiple people in this line told us they're here to sell something because of tough times during the pandemic. Miguel Camacho owns six restaurants across the city. Three have shut down, and he's laid off 60% of his staff. He says it hurts me a lot to see some of them on the streets looking for work. I've even seen some cleaning windshields at traffic lights. Though Camacho says he understands putting people's health first, he says current restrictions are unsustainable. He says with these restrictive hours and no alcohol sales, we are worse off now than in the beginning of the pandemic. Restrictions or not, we still don't have an exact idea of how bad Mexico's pandemic truly is. The government continues to test at one of the lowest rates in the world, calling more testing, quote, unnecessary. But from the limited data we do have and from the testimony of those it affects most, this pandemic seems to be as deadly as it's ever been. My father was such a good person, says Alma Medina. He didn't deserve a death like this. Matt Rivers, CNN, Durango, Mexico.